Hi guys, this is Zach from Watches On You, and today we're at the Breguet Boutique in New York City taking a look at the Breguet Type 21 3817ST. So now this is Breguet's newest interpretation of the Type 20 series of watches, and this one kind of, I guess, t makes the watch look take on a much more modern look from the original being with the original being the Aero Navale and it adds a couple new features that the Aero Navale did not provide previously. As one notable addition that I'll be showing you later is the sapphire case back which you do not see on the other uh, type 20 watches. But right away actually I'm going to go over the case of this watch. So this watch comes in either a stainless steel or a rose gold case. The one I have in front of me here is the stainless steel case. And it's finished absolutely spectacularly. It has a diameter of 42 millimeters, which I think is just about perfect for a uh, sports chronograph. Now, it's a little thick at 15.2 millimeters, but being a sports watch, I don't think that should be a huge problem with this, as you're not really going to be wearing it too much with a suit. And I love the coin edging as well on these watches. Breguet really does coin edging on almost all of their watches, and it just shows that they kind of go the extra mile when it comes to case finishing versus instead of just polishing the sides, they put a little coin edging in there just to add a new design element. It's one thing I really like about this piece, and it also has the coin edging between the lugs to keep it consistent throughout. So on the side here, you have a beautiful Breguet signed crown and then the two pushers for the chronograph. And then you have a bi-directional bezel on the top. So being, this being a aviation chronograph in its roots, it, the rotating bezel on the top is very useful as it can allow you to just track kind of crewed minutes instead of just running the chronograph. Or if you're using the chronograph in conjunction with the bezel, you can actually track multiple times at once or even mark your time with the bezel and keep the chronograph going. So it obviously looks just add a bunch of extra functionality that can be very useful when as a pilot and that's really what this watch was made for being the type 20 certification originally so now the dial on this piece you can see that it has many different design elements most notably being the very very large indexes and with their patinaed loom so I actually have this Breguet Type 20 Transatlantique here, and you can definitely see there are a few differences, and you can actually see that the original Breguet Type 20 is quite a bit smaller than the new Type 21, and you can see that the dial on the Type 21 is now more of a slate gray brown versus a glossy black. So now the subdials are also recessed as well, and at 3 o'clock you have a day-night indicator, which is not seen on the regular Type 20 models, and that can be very useful uh, just if you're, just in general, most notably I think it will actually be useful if you are setting the date on this watch so that you know if you're AM or PM, which can be very important so that you don't break the date changing mechanism. and. At 6 o'clock there, you have the hour indicator for the chronograph, and then right below it, you have the date. Now, I love how they put a black date wheel. It just blends in with the dial much better than if they did a white one. A lot of manufacturers tend to kind of look over that, and that's one thing I really like that they did on this piece. So at 9 o'clock there, then you have your running seconds, so when the chronograph's not running, or actually even if it is running, those are just your regular seconds that will keep going all the time. So let me start the chronograph and here in just to show you guys that mechanism. So to start it, obviously, you're just going to hit the upper pusher there. And now you can actually see that another hand appears right at 12 o'clock. That is actually the minute hand for the chronograph. So because they added the day-night indicator, they didn't really want to crowd any more dials. So I thought it was smart how they just added another hand. Makes it a lot easier to see. But that is not a split-seconds hand, as this is not a split-seconds chronograph. So just take note of that. But this is a, actually a flyback chronograph, which is very nice as well. So to, the flyback chronograph can be very useful when taking time consecutively for different measurements, as you won't have to stop and then reset. And that's actually useful in the aviation industry if you're kind of timing to figure out how fast you're going or for navigation purposes. So then a fl with the flyback chronograph, to reset it, you don't actually have to stop the second hand. You'll just reset it by hitting the bottom pusher, and then it will start going right away again, and that will reset all the subdials when you hit it. But if you want to just end it finally, then you'll just stop it first with the upper pusher and reset it like a normal chronograph. So the flyback feature just adds a little bit extra functionality that you don't see on a lot of other chronograph wristwatches.
So now I will actually show you the movement of this piece. So the movement on this watch is finished absolutely spectacularly. They kind of take it up a notch from the regular Type 20 watch, and it actually does, being that it has a sapphire case back, that is a feature that you don't get on the regular Type 20, and I really like that they added it. You can see the beautifully guilloched uh, rotor there in gold, and then the beautifully finished movement as well. Now a lot of people kind of think that being the Type 20 or Type 21 series, this Brega's entry level series, they think that the finishing isn't as good but honestly I don't really see why you can see that the edges are beautifully camfered you have Cote de Genève all around the movement and Perlage and I really can't find a single part in this movement that isn't finished so I don't really understand why some people seem to believe that the that the type 20 series is a little less finished when I can see here that it is absolutely beautifully finished so now I will move on to the wrist shot So on the wrist, this watch is, it is a bit larger. I'd say it wears a little larger than a standard 42 millimeter watch. I don't really know why, maybe that's just me. It feels a little bit bigger. I think that might be because of the different kind of levels of the dial and the larger dial size, I guess, or it's because I'm more used to seeing the regular Type 20, which is quite a bit smaller. But the 42 millimeter size is definitely no problem, being that this is a sports watch, I think that's just about right. My favorite to see is 40 millimeters, so 42 is definitely within my range. And it is 15 millimeters thick, so that could be a little, that I'd say is a bit thick to wear with a suit or anything, but this is more geared as a full sports watch, so I don't think that should be as much of a problem with when you're wearing this, but that is something to consider if you plan on wearing this with long sleeve shirts. So now I'll actually show you guys the clasp. So the clasp is a very easy to operate butterfly clasp. So you just push in these two buttons on the side, that one half will open, and then you just pull the other side open. So very, very easy to use, finished very nicely. You can see that they also, they took their time in brushing this clasp as well. And it's really finished to the same caliber as the watch itself. So. I'd like to mention that we'll be leaving links to the Breguet website in the description. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.